Hey, what's up? It's Steve, AKA The Sign Picker. And today I'm gonna to go through my entire collection so I can update my sign wall with signs that have multiple arrows. So today I'll be going through my entire collection to pull out all the signs that have double arrows on them. And I know that I have one sign in particular that has more than two arrows on it. I'll be pulling that one out as well. Most of the signs that I have with arrows are going to come from the regulatory category, from the warning category. Might have a few construction in there, definitely some parking signs. So let's dig in, see what we can find. Normally I start digging over here in my big shelf, but today I'm gonna to start with these parking signs. And when I do these sign walls, I like to have a lot of variety. I like to have different sizes, different colors, different shapes, signs from different categories. And so these will be the small signs I put on the ends or mix in the middle to help supplement some of the bigger signs that are on the wall. And surprisingly, I don't have any 12 by 18 signs that have double arrows on them. Part of this whole process of building a sign wall, going through these collections, is a rediscovery of signs that I forgot that I have. I have a mental inventory of everything that I have but sometimes that method of inventory fails me. So nothing in here, let's move on. Okay, here's one, reserve parking, double arrows on it. Uh, this is a really small sign. What would that be about 12 inches by 12 inches? This will look really good to supplement some of the larger signs that I think I'm gonna to find to put up on the wall. Sidewalk closed, use other side. And this sign is actually new old stock. You can see that the reflective surface sheeting has not been poked through where the holes are. Uh, kind of a small sign. No, that's a single arrow. But here is a double arrow. This is a railroad sign to be used for unguarded crossings so a railroad crossing that doesn't have warning lights or gates that come down when the train is coming uh, usually these are used out in rural areas country roads uh, driveways people have private driveways that happen across the railroad double arrow fits the theme of the wall right behind it is a larger version of the sidewalk closed sign there's a size difference there you can also see that there's a difference in the reflective surface that's on each. This has the prism surface. This just looks like it has the plain kind of flat reflective sheeting. So what's nice about this is I have an option, which one I want to use on the wall. Okay, that's all I have in these kind of long oblong sign. So now we're going to turn it around and go into the shelves. Here is a parking sign. No parking anytime, tow away zone, double arrows here. I love that anytime is one word. Normally you see no parking anytime where it's any time or a space. I'm not really sure according to the Merriam-Webster dictionary if any time is technically one or two words, but this sign, it is one word. Also on the back, it has a sticker that dates it to 1993. So it doesn't look that old, but um, doesn't have a reflective surface on it. Looks like it might be hand painted. So you know, no parking anytime. Okay, no parking and no standing anytime. There's another one, all one word anytime. This is from the Department of Transportation as indicated on the bottom of the sign. It's also double-sided. This sign comes from New York City. You can see where the post mounting was here. New York City tends to have these signs that are uh, double-sided and sometimes the legend on the back is just covered up in portion. So you can see where it was, was posted there. Looks like there's some writing on here, 18 by 24, four pounds. So that's probably when they were selling these signs for scrap or something like that. I picked this up off eBay from a guy who had a bunch of signs from the Department of Transportation 
in New York City. That makes me think he bought an auction or bought a bunch of scrap and all these signs were in them. He was just reselling them. Here we go, signs with double arrows, divided highway. I've always loved the configuration of the arrows here, which indicates the road you're coming up to, usually this is accompanied with stop sign, is a divided highway with a median in the middle. I love how yellow this sign is. I'm guessing this sign is from the maybe late 80s, and you can see the toll that uh, weathering does on these signs. Signs usually have a lifespan of about 10 to 12 years. This one looks like it might have been bacon out there for a little longer than that. Here's a directional route marker. This would normally accompany maybe a state route sign or a US route marker. This one came from Indiana. And it would accompany a sign that looks something like this. You'd have the route marker on top, arrows down at the bottom indicate that US 12 goes either way, east or west in this instance. Here is a 24 by 24 double arrow sign that would be posted at the end of a T intersection. At least here in Indiana, most of these signs are rectangular with the long end going horizontal. I'm not really sure why out in the country in particular. Here in Indiana, some counties use this type of sign versus the rectangular version, but it essentially has the same meaning. I have to get my work gloves on. It's about 30 degrees out here. These gloves also help so I don't cut my fingers up. That happens no matter what the weather is. Sometimes these signs will slip, scrape across my hand, and we have an injury. I'm bleeding all over my signs. That has happened before. I just can't flip through these signs as fast with these gloves on. Here's a sign that I featured before. It's for the Chicago Transit Authority. And you can maybe consider those arrows throughout here, but I'm really looking for signs that have the traditional arrow, like a bar with an arrowhead at the end of them. So I think I'm gonna have enough signs, so I'm gonna put this back. If I do need it, I'll come back to it. It's a real thin sign too, super thin. School signs won't have arrows. Stop signs won't have arrows. Now we're into some regulatory signs. Bam, here's one. It's the dual no U-turn and no left turn sign. Very cool arrow on that one. Here's a overhead clearance sign. I featured this sign before on my construction wall. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you go back, check it out. But I remember talking in that video about how I've always loved the configuration of this sign with the arrows pointing up and down. Here is another double arrow sign, new old stock. Holes haven't been punched through. This is used to let motorists know that you can go either right or left and there's a, either a median or some division in the road in the middle. So it's telling you to go on either side of that median. Two-way traffic warning sign. I don't know if these signs are just stuck together or if it's the gloves. Yeah, good thing I pulled them apart. There's another lane control warning sign with two arrows on them. Could go this way or it could go this way. And we're finally starting to pull some signs out that I feel confident that I'll be able to fill up the wall. Oh man, here's one. Another construction sign. Uh, this was also featured in my construction sign wall video. I'll pull it out for this wall as well. I do it every time. It's a category that I'm like, oh, am I going to have enough signs to fill up that wall? And then I end up having probably way too many signs that eh, I could do multiple walls of this theme. So here's a merging traffic sign. Actually, it's really not merging because you don't merge in. This is telling you, you know what? This is one of those signs that, that the sign doesn't frustrate me. It frustrates me that people don't understand this sign and they don't follow it. So what this means as a lesson for anybody who sees this sign coming up, if you are over here, you are going to continue on and just keep going. You'll probably want to start to accelerate right about here. These guys are going to keep going. 
you do not have to merge in here. You don't have to come up here and slow down and try to merge in here. Your lane is going to continue. That's what this means. So please, if you are over here, don't slow down. Don't try to merge in. These guys are going really fast. Here's an example of a sign for a roundabout that has more than two arrows on it. And I mentioned earlier that I knew I had a sign that has multiple arrows on it. This was not it. I forgot I had this. And I don't think I've ever featured this one on the wall before. So I'm going to need to make sure that this one gets up there today. All right, that closes out the warning sign category, at least of this size. These are 30 by 30s, and the wall is only so big. So uh, I need to build another wall. I'm just out of wall space. So let's move on. Next category. Here's another one from the New York City Department of Transportation. There's your double arrow right there, night regulation for street cleaning. Let's see what we got in these bigger signs. These are gonna be hard to fit on the wall. They're just, they're just massive. These are what, 36 by 36, I believe. Here is one of the, another one of the height, height clearance signs, but that's gonna be really tall. I don't think I'm gonna be able to fit that up there. All right, here is a lane control sign that has technically four arrows on it. This is the very first lane control sign that I ever added to my collection, probably back in 1988 or something like that. So we'll pull this one out and put it on the wall. What's interesting about this sign that probably led to the fact of why it's no longer posted there or wasn't at the time. It only had two post mountings right in the middle on either side. You can see the back here. And that's just a really unconventional way of posting up a sign of this size. Normally you'd have a hole here and a hole here, kind of in each corner to give it the durability that it needs to, to really secure it up like that. So I thought that was interesting about this sign that it only had two mounting holes on the left and right side. But this one, I believe, got ran over. So um, no amount of security onto the signpost, I think, would have saved it from its demise. All right, what else? Okay, here is a heavy embossed Indiana route marker probably from the 1920s and 30s. This is Indiana State Route 9. Double arrows. It's got a bullet hole in there. Shape of the state, which is very cool. Indiana, Indiana State Route markers are not this neat anymore. It looks like it has been repainted. I could just tell because the, the paint job is not as clean as what a, a highway department would have done. Here's the back of it. The back looks really cool, but you can tell the the color difference between the front and the back. I think the back color here is original. The front is a little more glossy and the paint job's just a little more sloppy. Be that as it may, I love this sign. Pull it out, see if we can fit it up there. Center lane only, lane control sign. This one's really tall. We'll see if we can fit it up there. I believe I can because I think when I picked this one and I did a video about that pick up in Michigan, I think I was able to fit this one up there. And finally, we're going to see what kind of small signs we have here um, with arrows on them. One of my projects this summer is going to be to clean this up. I don't like all these signs laying here, just unorganized. Here's one. I'm pretty sure this is a reproduction. Pretty sure these signs are larger than this, but I don't know how I acquired this. They got it off eBay or something, but there's your double arrow. I'll pull it out just in case I need it. All right, double arrow signs. I've got a lot to work with. The first step, I need to pull down the old wall so I could build the new one. So step one, tear down that wall.
All right, there you have it. My first sign wall of the year. Signs with double arrows on them. Here are all the ones that didn't make it up to the wall. There are a few that I really wanted up there. I couldn't get them all up there, but I do have my square channel signpost over here that I'll be hanging some over the next few weeks. Hey, if you want to follow along with everything that I post here on the Sign Picker YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe. Also follow me over on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, wherever you consume your social media content, and I'll see you in the next video.